Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscriber right now. And also, please, if you're new to this channel, make sure to always click the notification bell icon, the notification bell icon, so that anytime I drop a new banger, a new exclusively you will definitely be notified let's get right yet to let's get straight to it as t-shirt Dillian the body snatcher white is back and he just knocked out um Christian armor in the third round stopping him with vicious body shots and not only that he accused armor of quitting saying armor is a coward for not you know basically stopping no but mostly basically continuing the fight and quitting in his corner he wanted to see um Ahmad laid down flat in his ass one thing i would say is that dylan white is an entertaining guy um uh, we i think he we need him in in, in boxing he's needed every division is very like is very stacked right now and but there are not a lot of uh, uh, characters. We don't really have much characters in the Airway Division right now. Jeremy is a character, you know, he just recently got defeated by Daniel Dubois. White is a character coming back now. He's, those, we don't have those characters because if you look at Joe Joyce, for example, he's, he's very different. He's calm, he's collective, you know. He talks smack, but the way he does it is a little bit different from the rest white um terry miller deontay water tyson fury those are characters joshua is his own different kind of character the way he does his trash talking is different but we do need people like dina white in the spot though it's just that this guy is has been battling with a uh, fake drug test for many years even before he became a boxer as a kickboxer he failed a drug test as well and got cleared up so where is Dylan White's career right now where does where does he go from here his last fight th this this fight wasn't televised by any tv um broadcaster even a free even a free tv uh in the uk i think it's called channel 4 they didn't, they didn't take the fight Oh, uh, let's go back on here, Adewale, to give you a stick on this Sonja right here. Adewale, were you impressed by Dylan White's stoppage by um of Christian Armour? Christian Armour has been has been in the game for for a while, and eh? a strong guy, but he looks kind of out of shape here, and it was a one week notice, I guess. Um, I wasn't impressed, man. I mean, me, I don't like Dylan White, so I'm going to be biased against Dylan White. I'm just being honest. I wasn't impressed. He defeated Christian Hammer that I hadn't done anything in his career. And he, Christian Hammer was coming off the couch. Dillian White had been training for a couple of months. I heard an interview with his coach, Buddy McGirt, saying that they had been training for a few months, but they had to keep it on the low because the drug, drug use accusation investigation was still underway. Dillian White has tested positive for drugs, performance enhancing drugs, about three or four or five times in his career. The guy is a cheat. Plus, to be honest, he's not a good fighter. I'm just being honest. Dillian, if he stands in the orthodox style and he throws a jab, people always claim he's the body snatcher and he knows how to throw. He has a good left hook. I don't even see those. How many people has he knocked out with the left hook in his career? How many people? How many people has it punched to the body, landed a solid uppercut as a body shot and put that person down? We've never seen that happen. Dillian looked absolutely ridiculous when he switched southpaw against Tyson Fury. What was this guy doing, bro? This guy, he, did, he's, he was standing southpaw, but his right hand was behind his left hand. What, what was this guy doing, bro? This guy is a very funny guy. The only thing that Dillian White brings to the table, in my opinion, is his funny character. He's a funny guy. In his interviews, he likes talking trash. He goes below the belt a lot against his opponent when he's trash talking. So that gets the fan base of that opponent upset with him. 
he knows how to steer the pot. That's mm -hmm. what Dillian White brings to the table. He's entertaining as far as press conferences. But when he gets into the ring, he's not a great fighter. I'm going to... Personally, I would rate Dillian White an average fighter. He's not the most skilled fighter. He has a horrible footwork. His punching power is decent. He's a big guy that can punch to an extent. He has a horrible chin. So he doesn't bring much to the table. Congrats to him for winning Christian Hamer. Because boxing is such a ridiculous sport that the only thing that the fans remember is what you did most recently. So they are going to remember that Dillian White got another win um, on his record. And I won't be surprised. He's already calling out big guys like AJ. Who knows? Maybe he's going to get the AJ fight next. That's how ridiculous boxing is. But what I would have preferred for Dillian White to do is to fight Jarrell Miller, me personally. Because that would be a very, very entertaining fight. Both guys... I don't know if they can fight. To me, they are just average, both of them. But they would throw many, many punches. Someone is going to get knocked out and they're going to sell the fight. The fight will generate some money. So that is the perfect fight for Dillian White against Jarrell, Big Baby Miller, coming off the defeat to Daniel Dubois. That's it. Or maybe you can fight Deontay Wilder finally, if Wilder is interested in that kind of fight. Because Wilder for might not even be interested for that. Or just either the, um, Jarrell Miller or Wilder. Wilder coming off a loss against Joseph Parker. That is a good matchup, in my opinion. Thanks, bro. What do you make of Dylan White calling Christian Amma a coward for quitting on in this corner? That's Dylan, man. Dylan just talks trash all the time. The guy is a joke, bro. I, I, I can't take it seriously. That's the way Dylan White talks. He calls everybody cowards. Dylan White is the kind of guy that you he gets knocked out by you. But he's still going to call you a coward. Oh, he's a coward. He knocked me out. He's a coward. The guy is crazy, bro. Dylan White is just a funny character. He's entertaining. I won't lie. That's why he has some fans. But he's not a good fighter. Thanks, bro. I appreciate your take on this. Uh, Todd Jagby. What do you make of um, Dylan White's um, performance against Christian Amber? Let's be honest here, man. Uh... You know, good good take from Adewale. Let's be honest here. Um, Dylan White has had issues when it comes to these fucking drug accusation, and at, at at some point I didn't believe it, but but eventually, if this, if if it keeps repeating itself, you got to be like, yeah, it's kind of true. I mean, there's no absolute way you're gonna keep getting called out with you know using performing the acid drugs continuously, even. You know, even in it, even during your um, the beginning of his career, when he wasn't even become, when he wasn't even a, um, a professional, I heard he was using drugs. You know, so these things finally trailed up to him, to the point where he knows he's not on the same level as other other fighters, as Anthony Joshua. You know, even Deontay Wilder's that possibly Tyson Fury. I don't know. You know that he decides to 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 take these to take these drugs, you know, because he he's not gonna look he's not gonna look amazing in one fight and then look like complete shit in another fight. Either they're not they're not being uh, uh they're not testing um properly or they're not testing continuously to where you know they they say he's fighting like a you know C level fighter. We don't need to we don't need to test them or they probably test them once and that's it. Compared to you know when he's fighting like a big uh, a big elite fight level fight which he did with Tyson Fury and he looked like complete shit by the third round he was already gassed out you know that doesn't make sense to me but um you know if you look at it I believe you know the him with Christian Hammer this fight let's listen let's be honest man <laughs> Christian Hammer got got a a, a a late notification that was fighting Dylan White while this guy was probably in the gym you know putting in work compared to Christian Hammer. All of a sudden, Christian, he beats Christian Hammer. He's all happy about that. Man, bro, 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 listen to Jerry White. Just shut your mouth, man. Just really shut your mouth, bro. Because Christian Hammer is is hasn't even hasn't even been in, in the ring for such a long time. Hasn't even fought on a good elite, uh, a good performance <coughs> in such a long time. It's not something that you should be proud of. It's something that you should thank Christian Hammer and be well on your way. And, and you should tell the heavyweight division, Hey, I'm coming back, you know. I'm sorry for the delay. I'm sorry for what happened. But he had to open up his mouth. At this point in his career, he's looking for a big money fight. 
I, at this point in his career, I don't think he's up to par with, with AJ's level. AJ's on different, on a whole different type of level. You don't know which AJ you're going to get. Whatever AJ you're going to get, you're probably going to get knocked out anyways. So it doesn't even matter. But what I do, I was saying against him and Jared Miller, I guess it would be a good fight. You never know. Um, I, I, there's going to be a whole lot of trash talking, but you you truly never know. They're probably both probably going to gas out anyways. To my to my knowledge, but I I just don't believe he's on the part he's on the same level, you know, as as uh, these other guys. You know, I don't. I, it'll be easy work for Deontay Wilder. I, I believe Deontay Wilder has too much heart for for somebody like Dillian White. You know, Dillian, uh, Deontay Wilder is probably just gonna line him up real nice and just knock his ass out, which would be a blessing to the whole to the whole to the whole boxing community. He's gonna he's gonna Dillian White is gonna get up with that stupid profound look on his face. You know, yeah, he just got knocked out. But uh, to my to my to my knowledge, you know, he got that he got he got a freaking uh, late uh, Christian Hammer got a late notification. Dylan White hopped in the ring, got him out of <clears throat> in the third round and started talking smack. You know, but all in all, I think uh, is Dylan White good for the heavyweight division? I don't know. I just don't. I don't. I don't believe so. You know, somebody else needs to come and take his place. I think it, the time for Dylan White is over. Unfortunately, simple as that. Thanks, brother. The opportunity on this. Um, what about the Joe Joyce situation? Do you think uh, he fights Joe Joyce next, or do you do you see that fight happening? Is it a good fight? Because Joe Joyce wants him. Joe Joyce called him out. Yeah, it'll be a good it'll be a good fight for Joe Joyce. To be honest, you know what? If if Joe Joyce want, I, but I prefer him and Wilder to fight because I've seen, you know, those two have 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 had a. a <clears throat> a lot of bad blood, and this will be a good fight for e either Wilder or Ruiz. Joe Joyce, this avenge is lost with, with Daniel. Um, I said Daniel Dubois. Um, with um, with with Zang uh, Zang Zelay. Yeah, Zang Zelay at this point, you know, but you know, <clears throat> it, it all depends on who he chooses for for Joe Joyce. But as of right now, I think that would be a good fight for him. I mean, he knocked out, I don't know how he did, he knocked out Joseph Parker. But I'm hearing Joseph Parker wasn't even himself. There was some, there was, he was probably sick or something. That's what I'm hearing. But <clears throat> let's just hope, uh, let's just hope, you know, Joe Joyce finds himself a good fight. But I think, I, I think um, uh, this, the fight to make is between um, Jerome Miller, Andrew Ruiz, Deontay Wilder, Deontay Wilder, Andrew Ruiz, Deontay Wilder, you know, Jerome Miller. <laughs> Those are the fight to make and throw Joe Joyce in there in the mix. But as of right now, I think Joe Joyce has his own little battle, so he's got to fight. He can't really go into these fights, you know, the way he does, man. I, Joe Joyce has to be, his, his, when it comes to fights, especially elite fight, he has to be strategic with it. He can't think he's Joe Joyce and go in there and take punches to the face and he ends up losing. You know, it ha his fight has to be strategically planned. And I hope Ishmael Salas knows what he's doing at this point in Joe Joyce's career. Because all he needs is one more knockout, and Joe Joyce is done. Which I believe he's either Joe Joyce should need needs to get a big money fight and just be done with the career. Because that's a lot of punches he's taking to the face, man. A lot of punches. Joe Joyce doesn't have that fast muscle fiber, you know, that fast twitching muscle fiber he needs to be able to avoid these guys. He doesn't have it. So I think they need to be strategically smart when it comes to fighting fighters. And hopefully Ishmael Salas could do this for him. Hello, bro. Thanks. I do appreciate it, guys. You heard it from about that uh, Jack Bay and Nadewale. Stay tuned for more exclusive Bangalore here, guys. God bless you. Cheers.